Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have the most vintagey project to ever share with you guys that I've ever made. Um, so I got this collection called Homemade with Love and I got it during one of Echo Park's um, warehouse sales. I didn't know how vintagey it was. But I knew once I got it that, you know, I had to use it. Like, I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'm not going to go out and sell it. I'm just going to use it. And it's a nice challenge for me as well because I don't normally craft vintage papers or with vintage papers. So it was a nice challenge um, to try and match the papers to see um, if I could even do it. Um, how to make the base of the album so it matches all the vintage papers. Um, so... Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to get into the collection I used and what I have left before I show you guys the folio that I made. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the Homemade with Love collection created by Karina Gardner for Cartabella. So it is textured paper. It's thicker than Echo Park, but Cartabella, we know, is a sister like store to um, Echo Park or sister brand, rather. So I don't have a lot of paper left. This is all I got. Um, with these scrappies, I'm still going to make a little card and then everything else. That's it. Like, I'm going to make a card probably with this larger piece and this larger piece and then maybe like another one for like a strip somewhere we'll see maybe this one I don't know so I will be using up the larger pieces to make a card but that is what I have left from just the folio and then here are the stickers I have left I tried to use up a bunch of them and I will be saving the rest of this because I could always use it with something else this doesn't necessarily look vintage it doesn't have like the inked edges um so I could use this whenever like this lemonade one any of these ones for baking I could just use them whenever and this cute little flower which I'll probably put on the card all right so that is what I have left I you do use a whole entire collection kit for this kind of style um folio and I did follow a tutorial um kind of but it's between three different people. So I, I originally saw Tiffany's video, Let's Get Scrappy. Then I saw, I think it was my sister Scrapper. And they mentioned Milo, Chibi, Chibi and Milo or Milo or something like that. I'm going to have all of them linked down below. Um, I don't have specific videos because I don't know which they mentioned what in. I'll have... Um, my sister scrapper video but I did make changes based on what let's get scrappy said in her video at uh, Tiffany so she made changes and I made those changes but she didn't have a tutorial so it's just there was a lot of videos in order to make this guys so good luck <laughs> um if you have hours to sit down and watch the videos then go for it um but yeah that's what I did okay so again this is my cover and it is a you know, a large folio. There's tons of space in here for photos and recipes, which is what this collection is. It's like a recipe collection. And my idea with this folio is that you would put in here like some family tradition recipes. Like for example, in my family, every Christmas we get together and we make pierogi. We're Polish, we make pierogi. We always take pictures, we write down the recipe. Um, and this is like a yearly tradition that we have. And I was thinking, like, this would be so cute to put in those kinds of um, recipes. Obviously, you're not going to put in all of your whole life's favorite recipes, but, like, some traditional family recipes and things that you make as a family. That would be super cute in here where you could take photos and add the photos in here. Um, so that would be adorable. So this is the cover. I used that little girl that's, you know, either baking or cooking or something. Kind of looks like she's baking, but... Um, could be cooking also, could be making a pot of something. Um, it says recipes here, I added some flowers and I inked the white one just a little bit. Um, down here I used one of the stickers and it says love to cook. I popped it up on some cardstock and then also some foam for a little bit of dimension. Then there's this like oven mitt that I inked the edges of. 
more flowers. There's a lace, like not like a lace, but like a little trim here. Um, there's that washi sticker down here. Not washi sticker. What am I saying? It's the sticker from the sticker sheet that like strip right there. And then we also got some enamel dots around here and just some lace trim on the side right here. And obviously I did my stitching. Now with this album, I started off with a pink base, just like a regular pink base like this. Okay. I have another one that I didn't cover yet. So I started off with just a pink base, but I didn't feel that the pink went well with vintage and I knew making the base that I was going to have to ink the edges in order for this to look nice. So that's what I ended up using or doing. I used um, Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz Distress Ink to ink all of the edges every single place. So it doesn't look pink anymore like this original one, but it looks, um, you know, aged and vintagey. Um, so that's what I have there. Um, this is the spine. And then this is the back and it's got my logo. And then these are the sides, the other two little spines. Okay, so when you open this up, I do have two magnets here and here. So this is what it looks like when it opens up. You could add some photos here, like some main photos. I'm gonna do one side at a time because I can't exactly open both on my desk to show you guys. Um, so I'm gonna do one side at a time. So for this side, this opens up. On the left here, I have a double pocket. So in that smaller one, I have some recipe cards that are from the collection. I know, super vintagey, right? Like, who am I? You guys never see anything vintagey on my channel. Um, and then on the top here, I made like a photo mat, or you could add more um, like journaling or recipe kind of writing on the back here. And I did ink the edges of everything in this, um, in this folio. I just thought it looked better so that when you add your photo or do some journaling, like you still have that like aged look on the sides. I just, I just thought it worked better. So that lives in there. It's got that cute little tab. I have some sticker decorations here. It says measuring equivalents. I thought that was important as soon as you open up the album to have that there in case you need it. Um, and then here was a cut apart from the collection, which there wasn't much of. They were mostly recipe cards and then they had some of like these ones. So I just put that here as a little like pocket and tuck spot. Inside of there, there was a sticker that says a recipe. So that's super little teeny recipe. I got a tag that I paper pieced together. And obviously you could see the inking around the edges again. And then I have another recipe card here. So that just lives behind this tuck spot right here. Okay, then this flips open like this. Here you have, this is a pocket. That first um, space is a pocket. So I have this in there. Um, you could add photos or whatnot. So I'm, I just have that living in here, but you could also just use it as like a flap here as I have it sitting inside of like that little pocket so you could open up and add more goodies there photos recipes whatever and if you have more recipe cards and you want to add them in like you could just stick them into any of these like pockets so that works out fine then i have these two kind of more standalone um pocket things where you could add a photo here um, and inside of these i have another recipe card so that's what this one looks like and they live inside of these pockets and they hang off the edge so you could easily take them out like that. Then that flips to the other side and same thing with this one, you got another recipe card in here. So there's a lot of space for different kinds of like traditional family recipes. So you could add those in there. And if you don't, if you don't wanna put recipes, feel free to just like cover that up. You still have like this brown edge Put a photo over it like it doesn't have to be just for recipes it could just be you know um photos from cooking with the family um here i have this little like mixer page then this flips and you have another larger pocket in here so you could all, always add in more stuff in there larger photos and whatnot um and that opens up as well so and it comes out so however you want to do it, it's like a little booklet where you could add photos or more recipes. So that lives in there. And then back here, I have a pocket. 
I wasn't I wasn't sure if I was going to add a pocket, but then I decided to add one because I had um like a larger scrap left and some of these stickers. So I made this card here that says love being in my kitchen and I just paper pieced some things together and added some stickers, did some inking on the inside. And then I also made this one that says baking with you fills my heart with joy. And on the edges, it just says like one cup, a fourth cup, one third cup and half a cup. And then the back side is also inked so you could add a photo or another recipe. All right, so that is the whole entire right side of this folio. And I'm gonna close that up and we're gonna move on to the left side. So the left side opens up like this. And here you have some of these clear photo sleeves. So here, these are four by six. You could add in more, um, more recipe cards in here. You got another four by six and then some three by fours, three by fours and two by twos for photos. Then another two more four by sixes, another four by six and three by four, and then three by four and two by twos. So feel free to fill this up with photos or more recipes. And then you could also add something on the back side here as well. Then this next one, here you have this envelope and it is magnetized. And this is an addition from the regular tutorial this wasn't in it um i don't even know if the waterfall was in it i can't remember um but i made a little envelope with a uh, closure then this opens up here i have a little tuck spot so you could tuck something behind that it says cute little chef here i have a sticker that i put on some cardstock and inked the edges and that's just like my little closure for this waterfall and this opens up and then you can um, add photos to here or add more recipe cards. You could do a recipe card and a photo, um, however you want to do it. But you can see that I inked all of those edges up as well. Lots of inking, guys. I feel like I spent more time inking on this album than anything else. Um, also, if you don't want your um, landscape photos, I also made this turn so you could turn it whichever way you want um, and you could also add your photos um, that way so they could be portrait way and then you could still look at them just portrait style so however you want to look at your photos but you have that option and then that magnetizes back in place and that is the whole entire folio so I think this may have sold already on Instagram. I'm not sure. So if it's available, I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, I will have all the links to the people that I was inspired by for this album, some tutorials I followed, etc. I'll have a link to the collection if I could find it. And that is everything, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my folio recipe folio project share. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!